Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is Saturday, January 19th, and Josh and I just got back from the gym. I didn't film it, Josh and I did opposite, or like, we didn't do the same workout, so, and it was a little busy, so it was just kinda hard to film anything in there. So I didn't film it, but I did glutes, and then just some cardio, and then now we're home and gonna get ready. Um, I'm gonna make breakfast, and then I think I'm gonna go and get my nails done maybe I'm struggling I'm going back and forth I'm not sure if I should get them done or not I really want to I just don't know so maybe I might and then I'm just gonna go to Walmart and grab some groceries for the week I don't think we need to go to Costco for anything so I'll probably just run to Walmart I know Josh has to um, go and show some houses today and then I think after later we're gonna go and have a refeed somewhere not sure where yet I'm thinking probably like burgers or sushi or something, which is the best. So yeah, I'm just gonna probably take you along the day and show you what I get up to, kind of give you some updates maybe throughout the day. But yeah, I hope that you enjoy the video. So here's breakfast. I got a Thomas English muffin with two tablespoons of PB Fit, two slices of turkey bacon, 46 grams of eggs, egg whites, a slice of 2% American cheese, and yeah, that's all. I'm going to go ahead and enjoy this and then get ready for the day, and I will see you later. Hey guys, so update, it is 2.33 now and I just got to the nail salon, but first I stopped and grabbed something to eat because I haven't ate since breakfast and I'm really hungry and I don't know how long it's going to take in the nail salon and after the nail salon I have to stop and get some groceries so I didn't want to be absolutely starving um, during that. So I'll show you what I got. I went and got some Chick-fil-A and just got... Uh, a 12 piece of their grilled chicken nuggets and some buffalo sauce so I'm gonna go ahead and eat this I will show you as well the macros so the macros for the 12 piece grilled chicken nuggets at Chick-fil-a are four and a half fat six grams of carb and 34 grams of protein and then i tracked the um two packs of the buffalo sauce as well and that's just five fat two carbs and zero protein so i'm gonna go ahead and eat this now and then head in and get my nails done the whole way here i was like struggling so hard because i haven't had my nails done since like last summer and I took them off and it's just such a pain to take them off I'm like do I really want to do it again but I just like really love having my nails done and it makes me feel really good it's such a hassle sometimes but I think like not having to worry about doing your nails for like two to three weeks is definitely a big payoff and like right now I just have nothing on my nails like I don't do anything except for trim them down every once in a while so I think that I'm gonna get them done and yeah, because if I don't, I know I'll just keep thinking about it and like wanting to do it and then eventually I will, so might as well just do it now, right? But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and eat these nuggets and then go get my nails done and I will update you after. Hey guys, so I'm home now and I'm just going to run through everything that I got at Walmart. Um, I also want to show you my nails because I um, didn't update you after I got done at the nail salon. But yeah, so I got my nails done and I just got this really light shade of purple. Um, I'm not sure if these are going to be too long for me to like work out with. Um, but I'm going to try it out and then maybe in two weeks I will go ahead and get them a little bit shorter if needed. But I really love them. The shape is like an almond shape and then I think that the color is um, called 
five, it's f number 572 from d d It's like mountain something purple. I don't know. But it's just like a really light purple. But I'm really glad that I decided to get them done. But yeah, so I'm just going to run through everything that I got from Walmart. We had, we already had um, three packages of this Costco chicken and a bunch of egg whites still. So I don't think that we're going to have to make a Costco run at all this week, which is super great. So I just picked up what we needed from Walmart. So first I got these mini cups for like sauces and stuff to take to work. That way I've just been like putting them in a Ziploc bag, but um, it's easier to measure out like grams and stuff in these little cups. Then I got a big old tub of taco seasoning cause like lately I've just been like ground, um, browning up ground beef and stuff and then sprinkling on taco seasoning from like a packet so I just figured that a big tub of it would be easier than buying like individual packages and like putting a clothespin on them to keep them good for a while and then I got this garlic jalapeno seasoning I think that the key to keeping your meats interesting and like something that you want to eat is seasoning. I honestly love switching up seasoning and just like making every single meat that I have super seasoned. So I'm excited to try this. I love garlic. It's like probably my number one flavor profile. I don't know, um, that I choose. So garlic jalapeno, I think is going to be fire. I'll keep you posted on that. Um, so then I got a sugar-free cheesecake jello and a sugar-free chocolate fudge jello and I'm going to actually be mixing a little bit of that in with my Greek yogurt. Um, Paige Riley does that and it looks really really good. It's kind of like a frosting texture but I think that's just like a really good way to get in extra protein and like give you something sweet at night. So then I got some sandwich dill pickle chips um i like have been really loving to make cheeseburger bowls and i just thought putting some dill pickle chips on it would be really good then i got some red hot buffalo sauce josh and i literally every single time we cook food are like oh my gosh we forgot to get hot sauce again so definitely a staple um definitely definitely good Next I got this dill mustard. I It's just Sam's Club brand, so I think it's just like at Walmart. I seen a couple girls that I follow use this and it looks really good. I really love um, mustard and I really love dill flavored things. So I'm really excited to try this out. I really hope that I like it and it's not a total flop. Next I got some Taco Bell hot sauce for, um, so I would like to make like cheeseburger bowls with the beef but then I also like to do taco bowls so like I can put taco seasoning on it and hot sauce and make like a taco bowl or a cheeseburger bowl with ground beef it's just something to keep, like keep mixing it up without having to make a bunch of different proteins and then I got some more queso I've been putting this on my chicken and my taco bowls as well I just really like queso and the macros on it aren't that bad honestly let me see if I can get it to focus so total fat three grams carbs is four and protein is one which isn't really bad I think it adds a lot of flavor and keeps keeps it interesting like I've said before um, next I got some unsweetened silk cashew milk I'm not really sure why I got this I think just to like add in to like my Kodiak cakes or um, I've been thinking about getting this low buff protein cakes and they're like packages and you can just add cashew milk but yeah I just wanted to put this in the fridge we never have milk in our fridge so got that next I got um, four packages of jasmine rice and yeah jasmine rice is literally the goat I don't know how people eat any other type of rice. I really only like jasmine rice and then like a sushi rice. I hate brown rice and like white rice is fine, but you can definitely tell a difference between white rice and jasmine rice. So I don't know 
Josh asked me the other day, like, what's so much better about jasmine rice, and it's, like, hard to explain, but it's just a lot fluffier and, like, better tasting, so give that a try if you're struggling with your rice. So then we got uh, light sour cream. Uh, again, just like to add this into my taco bowls. I had a sour cream in there, but it wasn't light, so I just grabbed this light one. Like I mentioned, Greek yogurt, just the plain one, because I'm going to be adding the pudding and then probably like a couple packages of stevia as well. Then we got some spray butter, just because it's like zero calories if you don't use a bunch of it. And then, yeah, I think it's just easy to like quickly spray onto things, especially like these Kodiak cakes, um, which are already... They already have a lot of protein in them, and you can just like mix it up for for your pancakes. But I'm gonna, I already ordered a thing of blueberry muffin protein from Alani New, and so I'm gonna mix in extra protein with this because the one macro that I've been struggling to hit every single day is my protein. Like, I'll have about like 20 to 30 grams of protein left at the end of the night, and I'm just like, I don't know what to eat. Like, I don't want to eat. Just like straight meat. I don't know. I'm weird. So I'm just going to try to play around with different things that will help me get like protein in. A little extra protein in with each meal. Next are these Alexia sweet potato fries. We had a bag in here in our freezer for like, honestly, I want to say like six months. Like I bought it one time and I was like, oh, I'm going to eat healthy this week. And then I just like never cooked them. And um, Josh and I actually cooked them up the other week and they were so good. So I just grabbed another one of them just for like a treat or if we wanted to like have them with dinner or something. It's just like a nice little carb. It's like a fry, but it's better. So grab those. And I got some sharp cheddar cheese, just the shredded kind. I like um, sharp cheddar. Got some shredded iceberg lettuce for, honestly, for burrito or taco bowls and for cheeseburger bowls. This is, like, going to be super clutch. Then I got some veggie pasta. It's just the penne with cheddar cheese sauce. And I'm going to mix some chicken with this and cook up some broccoli and just do, like, a broccoli cheddar chicken pasta thing. I don't know. I think that's like a thing, right? But yeah, I don't know. But I'm going to probably have that at some point for like a dinner or something just to switch it up and keep things fresh. And then like I said, we had chicken. So I just got extra lean ground beef. I got two of the 2.25 pounds. So four and a half pounds of that. And I got the Kirkland beef last time. But it was like 85%, yeah, I think 85% and 15% fat. And I, I don't know, I just would rather have my fat in my diet with like queso or sour cream, stuff like that, instead of having it come from like my meat. I'd rather get extra lean ground meat and then add in my fats with like fun things. And then lastly, I just got some Diet Mountain Dew because this is honestly like the only freaking thing that I crave. At, like this and sushi, but like sushi is fine because whatever, I always have craved sushi. But like I don't crave any bad foods. Like I used to be addicted to Taco Bell, but like nope, not anymore. I can drive by Taco Bell without even like thinking about it. The only thing that I think about is Diet Mountain Dew. So I got one of these for home and then I got these bottles to take to work so that way I can just have it like at lunch or like in the afternoon to kind of keep me sane and like ready kind of keep me fine until I get home to have dinner um but yeah so that is everything that I got at Walmart um let me know if you guys like seeing the food that I buy like if you like grocery hauls and stuff like that or I don't know, I guess I'll try to like show more like meals as well. Cause like I have a hard time vlogging during the week just because I have work and stuff. But um, 
yeah, I'll try to do like more. Maybe I can do like a one weekly vlog where I kind of just vlog random things throughout the week and then I don't know, you guys could see like a good mix of like if I make that pasta and like sweet potatoes, like stuff like that, you guys can just kind of get a good idea of everything they make throughout the week. But yeah, guys, um, I'm gonna go ahead and put all of this away. I'm waiting for Josh to get home. He should be home soon. And then we're gonna go get food. We're gonna go and have like our refeed to refeed day. Um if you don't know what a refeed is, i d I'm like bad at explaining it. Like I know it's like a calculated cheat day. I don't like to use the word cheat day because I am like fine, like I don't need a day where I like go off the rails or anything. I just like to have like one meal that I can like look forward to at the end of the week where like Josh and I can go on a date and kind of just like enjoy ourselves and eat something that's like kind of on track but still like a treat. So um, if you have like questions about what a refeed is, Josh actually made a video on his channel so I'll link it in the description below and he'll, he like goes into the science of like what a refeed is. But yeah, um, that's it for now. I will take you along when we go to dinner and show you what we get because I'm pretty excited. We haven't like set, we haven't set a place like where we're going, but we like, we're stalking this guy who's like a bodybuilder. He lives in like Northern kind of Mesa area of Arizona. He like posts really, really good food places. So we've been like stalking him and trying to find ideas. So we'll see. I don't know. We haven't decided yet, but it's going to be good either way. So I'll go ahead and take you along with us. But yeah, I'll see you then. We're back from dinner now and it is 9.57, which is like the latest that I've been up in like, yeah, I know Nova. The latest that I've been up in like, I don't know, three weeks or something. I'm tired. Josh, can I flip this? No, I can't. Okay. Josh is eating some ice cream. What's it? What is it? Show it. Swell. Low carb, high protein ice cream. Low calorie. What are the macros? Two grams of fat per serving. Um, 19 grams of carbs, but it has dietary fiber and sugar you alcohol. You don't count them. So nine grams of carbs per serving and 10 grams of protein. For the whole pint? No, for half a cup and there's 3.5 servings. So yeah, he's gonna eat that. Now I'm just gonna get ready for bed and I'm gonna go night night. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and found it interesting and motivating and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys. Hey guys, so it is Sunday, January 20th, and um, I just wanted to throw this into the vlog from yesterday, Saturday, and show you guys what I got from Amazon because I got it in this morning, actually. So I just wanted to show you, um, yeah, everything that I got. So firstly, I ordered three Legendary Foods nut butters. Let me open this up. 
So the first one is blueberry cinnamon bun flavored almond butter. And these are really cool because there's no sugar added. It has, um, I think on Amazon it says it's like keto friendly, but for two tablespoons, it's 160 calories, 14 grams of fat, 10 carbs, and six grams of protein. And they're, the flavors are just like really cool. So I got that one and then I got peanut butter with chocolate chips. And then, let me see, let me see. So this one has 15 grams of fat, 10 grams of, grams of carb, and um, six grams of protein. So just one more gram of fat in the peanut butter one. And then lastly is the pecan pie flavored almond butter. And this one has 15 grams of fat, eight grams of carbs, and six grams of protein. Um, I bought these, all three of these, in a, like, trio set. I think there's five flavors. Actually, there's um, an apple pie flavor, which I'm not really a big fan of apple pie, so I didn't, I didn't feel like I really needed that one. And then I think there's also another chocolate peanut butter one. But these were the three that I had seen, like, I've seen people eat Legendary Foods Nut Butters. These are the three flavors that intrigued me the most, so I was really happy to see that they came. And I said a three, and I think it was like $32 for all three of these, which is really good. It's like $10, $11 a container, which like at a store, a nut butter like this would probably be, be like $15, $16. So I'm really pumped about those. You guys will probably be seeing me eat those with like my oatmeal and stuff. And then next I just got another pair of 90 degree by reflex um, leggings. They're, they come like pretty high waist so they come right at my belly button and they're like really nice compression wise and then I just got the black um, ankle length. And they're only $25 and what I like about them is that um, they're pretty thick so I mean I feel like they're squat proof. I don't know I haven't really tested it. But I just ordered another pair of black le leggings from Alphalete and I'm really excited to get those in. They're just like more pricey and since I want to lose some weight, I just, I like can't justify spending $60 on a pair of leggings, like every single pair of leggings that I own just because when I lose my weight, I'm gonna like obviously want to buy smaller sizes of leggings. And when I spend $60 on a pair of leggings, I'm going to want them to be something that I can have for like years. So I did splurge and buy a pair of Elfleet just because I'll probably be able to fit into a large for a while. But I'm not going to like make my entire wardrobe like Elfleet, Gymshark and all of those. Um, I might just like get a couple pairs for now. And then as I start hitting like goal weights and stuff, I might start buying more because I feel like a medium. So like right now I buy larges for leggings and I feel like a medium might fit me still when I'm like a small, when I'm a small. Um, so yeah, I'm just kind of stocking up on like cheaper but good quality leggings until I like am where I want to be and can justify spending a lot of money on leggings. Anyways, uh, next I got some ankle, gr what are they called, power power pads they're for your ankles so you can use them with um, cable machines for like kickbacks cable kickbacks they just like wrap around your ankle and then the metal let me pull them out the metal pieces so just like wrap around your ankle they're a little stiff right now wrap around your ankle and then these two metal pieces oh my gosh So wrap around your ankle, the two metal pieces, the cable would clip onto your foot, your ankle would be in here and you would can like kick back and work the glutes, which is like a big old focus of mine, growing the glutes. So I got a set of those. I just got the black. You can just get them on Amazon. I think they're like $15 for a pair. Um, I really wanted the white camo color because I'm like 
obsessed with camo. Camo is like a neutral to me, but they only came in a single, so I would have had to buy two singles, which I guess I could have did. Why didn't I do that? Oh my god. I'm sad now. Okay, anyways, so I just got the black, but they have like really cool colors. There's like pink, teal, lime green, a bunch of different colors. Um, I'll link all of this stuff from Amazon in the description below if you're like curious, want to check it out. Um, go ahead. It's not. I'm not like an affiliate. I'm not going to get money or anything. So um, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys everything that I got from Amazon. I have some more things coming in through the mail, so... I'll probably show you those um, whenever they get there. But yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this little mini haul. And if you check it out, anything out, uh, let me know in the comments below.